One of the great things about phonics is that it actually can be taught remotely. Here's an example of how we could facilitate an effective remote phonics lesson with your class. Let's just revise our terminology so you're sure of our focus. Phonemes are those smallest units of sound in spoken language and graphemes are what we represent these sounds with in print. So with your phonics instruction we start with the phoneme then introduce the corresponding grapheme. Keep it simple, tell the children what they're going to need, so maybe a pencil and some paper. It's helpful to connect the experience to a text, so pick one that aligns to your target letter sound. For example, the snail and the whale is ideal for the A phoneme. Start with revision and revisit all the graphemes the children have already tackled. Flashcards can help. So hold up a flashcard of a previously taught grapheme one at a time. You might have an image of an ear on the screen. Invite the children to shout into it. Next, introduce the new sound. Just the sound, no grapheme yet. Ask the children to look at the shape of your mouth when you're making the new sound. If they have a mirror handy, they can look at the shape of their own mouths. Or, if you're using a platform like Zoom, perhaps the children could put on their cameras and explore their own mouth shapes on the screen. Following that, the next step should be blending. Again, sounds are still the focus, no graphemes. Choose three to four words with the target sound, like rain, hail and aim. Say each word very slowly and see if the children can blend the sounds together to make the word. Give the children a short definition of the word and put it in a sentence for them. Now, after lots of sound work, it's time for the graphing. Show the children what it looks like and say something like, the A sound can look like this. The emphasis here is on the word can, as the A can be represented in a number of different ways. As following that, you could put a range of flashcards with the letters on the screen and see if the children can find the A cards. Encourage them to touch the screen. Next, we want the children to experience some success at reading using their new graphing. Time for some decodable words. Model some blending and invite the children to try along. Following that, it might be a good time for a game or some word sorting to reinforce the learning of the new graphing. There are plenty of excellent interactive phonics activities online that would work well here, regardless of what platform you're using. Don't forget to keep it fun. Remote learning needs that element of play too. Word sorting activities are relatively simple to create. Call out a range of words with both the long sound or the short sound. The children have to decide whether the word contains a long A or a short A. They touch the blue button if the word has a short A like cat and the green button if it has a long A like train. Next, why not try some decodable sentences? Sometimes you might need to teach a high frequency word here too. Explore the sentences, discuss letters, sounds and words they know or recognize. Draw attention to the new graphing, then try reading. Following that, what about a little dictation? Give the children the chance to try to write some words with the target sound. Be sure to give them a chance to show it off too. Praise is key. Lastly, your story or picture book. Complete the lesson by reading a carefully chosen story that shows off that new grapheme in context. While reading the text aloud to the children, overemphasize any words that contain A. The children can use a reaction button like the thumbs up or the emojis to show that they've heard the sound. You can then show them the words in the text that they've spotted. And there you have it, an effective, purposeful phonics lesson remotely.